The Minister of Education has asked the newly sworn in governing council of the Chartered Institute of Bankers to rebuild confidence of guidance in the banking sector. Dr. Matthew Poku Prempe says failure to do so will further reduce and undermine the interests of Ghanaians. Do in the name of the Almighty God swear. Do in the name of the Almighty God swear. The new council has been touched with streamlining operations in the banking sector. It is also mandated to ensure bankers abide by the ethics and good corporate governance. The Education Minister, Dr. Matthew Opoku Prempe, asked the newly sworn in council to build confidence of Ghanaians in the banking industry. The recent upheavals in the Ghanaian banking industry is worrisome. The timely intervention of, by the Bank of Ghana through the introduction of some fundamental changes and the cleanup exercise turned situations around and brought sanity back to the industry. Today, our banking system is placed on a more solid footing on the back of strong capitalization, strengthened by improved risk management and governance practices. He again charged the council to review its curricula to reflect modern trends in banking. There is therefore important for the institute to review its curriculum to reflect the changing industry circumstances, as well as strengthen its capacity to offer contemporary courses and certificate programs. No matter the courses the universities offer, it's the Chartered History of Bankers that has the right to give anybody the title, I am a banker. President of the Governing Council of the Chartered Institute of Bankers, Reverend Patricia Sapporo, expressed the determination of the Institute to promote the industry. CIB has a renewed commitment in exercising its core mandate by churning out professional bankers who will uphold the values and ethics of the banking profession.